Hey everyone, I am Elton and in this video on Jira tutorial, we will be learning on how to manage a project end to end. Jira is a project management tool and let's just get this out in the open, it is one of the best. So if you are looking for a career in this domain, you are in the right place. But before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the bell icon to receive our updates. If you are interested in our online certification training, check the description box below. So now sit back, relax and let's see what we are going to learn today. Since Jira is a project management tool, the first thing we need to do is understand what project management does and how Jira helps. And since this is in its own domain, we will need to understand a few terminologies. We will then need to figure out what workflows are in Jira. And finally, we can get started with our hands-on demo. Now I want you to think of a chocolate factory giving a contract to an IT company for a website. The first thing that the company would do is plan the tasks that need to be done. After this, they would get their employees together to figure out who needs to do what task. The employees would then actually execute that task. They would also form reports of what they have done. These reports would then be documented so that all project related information would be kept together. This will also allow the company to be flexible with any changes that they would need to make. And once the project is done, it would be evaluated to check whether the project meets the actual requirements. This is the process by which most companies work and Jira's process works in the same way. Jira is a project management and bug tracking tool that lets you create projects, manage them, assign tasks, track progress and much more. Now that we know this, let us learn a few terms that can help us get started with Jira. Think of your favorite series. Isn't it separated into seasons and episodes? Well, Jira works in the same way. At first, you have an epic. This tells you what the project is about. Now this epic is divided into stories. These stories will tell you what you need to do to achieve that epic. These stories are then divided into tasks that tell us what we need to do to finish that story. Now that we know these few simple terms, let us understand one final concept that we must absolutely know. Workflows are simply the steps that you take to complete the project. Let us have four columns. The first thing to do when you have a task is to list it down. So let us call this the to-do column. Once you start working on them, you can then say that this task is in progress. Once you finish working on it, you will need to test it. So let us call this the testing column. The final column will then show you the tasks that you have completed. So let us see this with an example. Think of two tasks, task one and task two. When we start working on the first task, we will bring it under the in progress column. And when we finish working on it and test it, it will be under the testing column. If the task passes the tests, then we can slide it over to the done column. Do you notice that we are able to separate the business process between these columns? Great, right? If you feel like something needs a bit more work, you can always bring it back. Now that we have learned all these theoretical concepts, we can now finally begin our hands-on session. So head over to the Atlassian website and create an account. Okay, so the first thing that Jira will ask you when you log in is your site name. You can provide any name over here and it should just be unique. After you finish this, you can just click on agree. Jira will now ask you what kind of work you do so that it can personalize the interface to match your needs. Let us go ahead with software development. Now these settings can also be done inside the interface. So let us just skip ahead for now. Now over here, Jira wants to know if you are new to or experienced with it. Let us say that we are new to it and that our team is new to agile methodologies. Let us also say that we are working on features and that we have flexible deadlines. In our project, we are going to use the scrum template. So let us just change the template to scrum and then click on use template and then select a team managed project because that option is free. We will now provide a name for our project. Let us go with Jira tutorial. Jira also assigns a key to your project and this key can then be used to refer your project. You also have the option of integrating your Jira experience with other platforms. But for now, let us just skip on this option. We can now invite our teammates. So let us just invite a few of them. 
After this, you will be taken to the backlog section of your Jira interface. Let us just close the dialog boxes for now. Okay, so now that we are here, the first thing we need to do is create an epic. So let us first enable the epic panel. And now over here, you can say create epic and you can give it an epic name. For this project, I wanted to use the example of a wish list where I could store and view my products. So let us name this epic wish list. So now that we have created the epic, we can use the drop down menu to view the details. Over here, we can add a description. We can also add comments and we can add stories and tasks. So let us see how to do that. At first, you click the add a child issue button. Over here, you can specify what kind of issue you are creating, like story, task, bug, etc. So, for a first story, let us say that we want to save our products in a wish list. So, let us name this save product to wish list. And then you can hit on the create button to create that story. Let us also add another story for viewing our wish list. So now that we have created our stories, we can close this section and we can view our stories in the backlog. Now the next step is to create a sprint. And this is very simple. All you have to do is drag and drop your stories into the sprint. After you drag and drop your items, you can click on start sprint and it will ask you for the details. Over here, you can see your sprint name, the duration, start date, etc. For now, I'm going to leave this as is. So now that we have created our sprint, you can see the to do in progress and done columns in the board section. So now you can open up the stories and view the details inside them. You can assign it to someone and you can also set a story point estimate. Now story point estimate is a quantitative value of how much relevance a story has in the epic. So for now, let's just set it to three. And over here, you can also see that you can add another child issue. Since this story is about saving a product into the wish list, we can first create a wish list button on the product page. We can also add another subtask to create a new database so that we can store the products that we like. Now that we are done over here, we can close the story section and we can do the same thing for the other story. Over here, I'm again going to assign it to someone and we can set our story point estimates and add child issues. Since this story is about viewing my wish list, we can first create a page to display our wish list. Our second subtask could be about creating a button so that we can view our wish list. Now that we are done over here, we can close this and we can see that the details we have mentioned are added over here. We can now go inside the stories and start tracking our progress. You can see the to do buttons over here near our subtasks. So you can expand them and you can click on in progress. Now, since the story is in progress, we can close this and slide over our story into the in progress section. We can also do the same thing for our second story. Now, once you're done with a subtask, you can go to the same place and you can specify that as done. Let us also do that for the second subtask. Now you can see that the progress is 100% done, right? So now you can take the story and shift it over to the done column. We can also do this for the second story. Do you notice that we are able to track progress on the bar over here? Now, once you're completed with all the subtasks and the stories, you can go ahead and complete this sprint. For now, we have seen how to create epic stories and tasks. We have also seen how to assign it to someone, how to create story point estimates, and how to track progress of your project. And now we will see how to manage workflows. So the first thing you need to do to access your workflows is go to board. Over here, you can go to this button over here and click on manage workflows. So over here, you can see the phases that your business is currently going through. You can also add a few phases if you want to. Let us now add another done status. Over here, I would like to add another deployed phase for the project. So once you are done over here, you can click the add button 
and you can see that the deployed page is now over here. And now you can update your workflow and save it. So once you're done updating your workflow, you can exit this interface and then head over to board. And now over here, you can see the deployed page for your project. So now that we have seen what workflows are, let us explore a few other options. The first thing we can see is code. Over here, you can integrate Jira with other platforms so that you can manage your projects easily. You also have an in-house versioning interface in releases. Over here, you can create versions by simply clicking on this button and adding the details. You can also head over to the project settings to view other configurations. One important category over here is automation. Over here, you can add rules and policies so that you can automate your tasks and manage your project easily. So over here, you can go down and click on browse the library and you can see the automation templates that are given below. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for our updates and until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!